whistleblowers are telling these lawmakers that there was an internal effort to shut down the investigation from the beginning. Have you found that? I have not found anything like that. Uh... All right. So endless trash. Welcome back, everyone. Quickly, I just wanted to request that you all keep my wife, Courtney, in your prayers. On Thursday, we had to have an emergency delivery of our daughter. And ever since then, she's had some complications that have kept her in the hospital. She's done a lot better over the last couple days, but I'd still really appreciate those thoughts and prayers. Thanks a lot. Now on to FBI Director Chris Ray, who I make no secrets about absolutely loathing. My dad always said, you can't bullshit a bullshitter. So I guess that makes me a bullshitter because I can read Chris Ray like a book. So last night he did an interview on Fox News with Brett Baer, and I think he did a pretty good job pressing Ray on points that many others in the media or anyone else in the media would ever bring up. But I still think he went way too easy on him and didn't press him on issues that I think are very important and need to be addressed. So first off, Brett Baer hitting Ray with the FBI's policing of free speech on social media. And by the way, before we get into this, I'd like to thank Tom Elliott for all the clips. Well, let's start with the laptop. The FBI has had access to this laptop for more than three years. Why is this investigation on the Hunter Biden laptops taking so long? Well, the investigation is being led, as you may know, by a U.S. attorney appointed in the last administration out of Delaware. And the FBI is actively supporting and working with that U.S. attorney on that investigation. Bullshit. But the whistleblowers are telling these lawmakers that there was an internal effort to shut down the investigation from the beginning. Have you found that? I have not found anything like that. Uh, all right, so... What? No. What? No. Nothing like that. Seriously, maybe it's not so much that I'm good at spotting liars and that he's just not very good at it. You're not supposed to telegraph that you're lying with your facial gestures and body language. And Brett is right here. There are many FBI whistleblowers coming forward to testify that the FBI has actively covered for Hunter Biden. But don't worry, the FBI investigated themselves and found they did nothing wrong. Don't you feel better? Let's talk about the FBI and what you told Big Tech or some agents did about the authenticity and providence of Hunter Biden's laptop. What about that from an FBI perspective? The FBI does not and is not in the business of functioning as the truth police. Understood. So we don't tell social media companies to censor anything. Repent! Well, or the Twitter file suggests something different. Gotcha, bitch! I mean, there was an FBI request numerous times. Um, Taibbi puts it out, FBI San Francisco request to ban certain accounts. Um, was Is it appropriate to flag social media accounts for on Twitter or elsewhere due to politics or uh, government policies when it comes to COVID? Is it appropriate in any way? You're saying it doesn't happen, but there's evidence that it had. We don't tell social media companies to ban accounts. Now you see now. You know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? But you suggest. Well, what we do is tell social media companies about information that we have about foreign disinformation campaigns by foreign actors, by foreign intelligence services. Literally did not happen. That's not how it happened. Didn't happen that way. So just to reiterate, his new lie is that the FBI isn't policing free speech and isn't telling these companies who and what to censor. Absolute 100% unfiltered, pure bullshit. The problem for Ray is these weren't foreign people or entities that the FBI targeted. They were regular people. Regular people saying things that the FBI didn't like. And to make things worse, they were relying on fake groups like Hamilton 68, which these companies were forced to use and tell them who and wasn't disinformation. Hamilton 68 was and is a computerized dashboard designed to be used by reporters and academics to measure, quote, Russian disinformation. It was the brainchild of former FBI agent and current MSNBC disinformation expert, Clint Watts. The latter's advisory panel includes former acting CIA chief, Michael Morell, former ambassador to Russia, Michael McFaul, former Hillary Clinton and American chair, John Podesta, and one-time Weekly Standard editor, Bill Kristol. I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. Are you noticing a pattern here? All of these people are either from the intelligence agencies or the media and are all staunchly anti-Trump and Republican. It was such a sham that even the hyper-partisan left-wingers at Twitter started calling it out. These accounts are neither strongly Russian nor strongly bots. 
no evidence to support the statement that the dashboard is a finger on the pulse of Russian information ops. Hardly evidence of a massive influence campaign, declared trust and safety chief Yoel Roth. I think we need to just call this out for the bullshit it is. Given all this and the environment at the time that these companies had to do whatever it took to stop Russian interference in our elections, the companies that the FBI was interfering with here felt obligated to do whatever they said. This whole, we didn't tell them what to do act is total bullshit. And the other Twitter question we get a lot is, did the FBI have undercover agents or paid informants or assets among the mob that stormed the Capitol on January 6th? Yeah. Yes. Well, as I'm sure you can appreciate, Brett, I can't really appropriately talk about when, where, and how we use confidential informants. Is it classified? Well, we have information that is uh, about any number of topics that is law enforcement sensitive, uh, but you should not read into my inability to answer a question because of my obligations uh, as that is a clue or a hint in any way about how accurate your reader's um, tweet is. Fuck! Yeah! And even Vice President Biden on the debate stage referenced this letter from former uh, intel officials. There are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plan. But it turns out it wasn't. I, I can't speak to what former uh, officials of the intelligence community may or may not have said. I can only speak to what we do. Oh, he can't speak to what those people said. But these are the very same people that he was relying on to tell these companies what was and wasn't Russian disinformation, using groups like Hamilton 68 comprised of former intelligence experts. He and his buddies, along with the media, lied and manipulated the election in favor of Joe Biden. And I expect our people to tackle this investigation the way that I expect them to tackle every investigation, which is to follow the facts wherever they lead. <laughs> Then why did you ignore the evidence in the GOP baseball game shooting in order to call it suicide by cop? The evidence showed that the guy who launched the terrorist attack on Republican senators while screaming, this is for healthcare, worked for Bernie Sanders, had a list of Republican targets, and asked someone if they were Democrats or Republicans before he started shooting. But what did Ray conclude? He concluded that it was suicide by cop, ignoring all the evidence, and only years later admitting the truth. I swear, it's almost as if this guy thinks that he's some kind of Jedi mind trick master but in reality he was taught wrong as a joke he is an idiot we have purposely trained him wrong as a joke <laughs> all right folks that's all i have for that one i appreciate you watching if you found it informative or enjoyed it please hit that like button share subscribe and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion thanks a lot i'll see you all in the next one